Welcome to Evening Spirits, where I have been drawn to do a reading. This is the weirdest thing. So we're having like a poor night dinner, you know, like top ramen and Pringles, okay? And it's just, I, you know, lazy dinner. Didn't really want to put much into it. I didn't. I mean, and I know, I know, I know, totally bad, blah, 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 whatever. Anyways, and I kept getting, I'm like, huh, I'm having like a Kmart dinner. Okay. I didn't grow up like that. I, that, that wasn't relevant for me. I was like, and when it was relevant for me, like eating like that, it was 99 cent store. So Kmart wasn't even like, I mean, we went to it, but it wasn't like, so, but like, and then it was like, yeah. And then I was asking my son, I was like, do you ever have like alternate childhoods? So I don't know if it's that or if this is relevant for someone. So if you had a Kmart dinner, which was Pringles and top ramen or cup of noodle, depending on what you like, with maybe some ground meat and cornbread. That was our dinner tonight. So <laughs> if you had dinners like that where it was just like crazy and you just put things together and you just had poor nights, that's what I call them. I'm like, we're not putting a whole lot of effort in this one. Then maybe this will resonate for you. All right. So this is heartbreak. <laughs> Shoot. Isn't it? Ugh. That's that's heavy energy. That's how you like. That's as much effort as you want to put into dinner is when you do top ramen and, and Pringles. You're like three minutes. I'll be out of the room in three minutes, and then I'll be back in the room, and I don't have to talk to anyone. And I only have three minutes. I have a possibility of talking to anyone in the house. That's when you know you're having like depression as a motherfucker. Page of Pentacles. It's really about like taking that new opportunity, finding finding that new opportunity, m making maybe you'll get a message that there's a new opportunity. Has someone been very like uncaring and not loving? Cold, bitchy, complaining. You can't do nothing right. You're always walking on eggshells when you're around them. That's a Queen of Cups in reverse. Emotionally manipulative. Cries. <laughs> they cry when they want something. Like, if, you, if they know you're going to say no, they'll cry. And they'll be like... <sighs> You don't love me? Like, love is in everything that they say or do when they're crying. Because they're trying to be like, if you loved me, you would do this. No, that's not how love works. And we have someone here very logical. But I saw it reversed and I flipped it around. So maybe it's someone in their ego. Someone cold. Someone distant. Someone hibernating. But maybe they're trying to pull into that logical, I need to, I need to be strategic, but transparent in the same moment in this segment of my life, of my journey. Ooh, now we got a king that is about action. I almost feel like that's the same person, like the same masculine. He's He first is like, okay, I got to get out of that cold, hard, distant, ego-based person. Then I have to get into logical, strategic, but like be very clear with what my steps are. Then I have to step into, okay, now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take action. That's kind of how I see that transpire. Maybe we're dealing with a masculine, but then we dealt with a... Oh, she was manipulative, that's right. Ooh, she wasn't a good feminine. 
No, we didn't see her flip. I had no in it whatever, you know. Like I I didn't want to flip it around. So I, I don't think she has any want to change, you know? You know when a person, like, you can tell they're really trying and they just, like, daily are trying to be a better person and do what they need to do? And they fuck up, but, you know, like, don't we all? But then there's the ones that, like, you can clearly tell, like, you don't even care. You don't even want to change. Like, you just... You want to you want to continue to do this and play this game. Like you don't want to grow out of this. You want to continue to be a 16-year-old bratty teenager. Wow. Okay. Good to know. I'm not here to raise any bratty teenagers anymore. That stage of my life is done. Bratty teenage stage only lasts what? 4 years? 6 years? Then it should be over with, right? You don't need to stay in that for forever. It's a stage for a reason. Devil energy. But you're addicted. You're addicted to the control. You're addicted to the... Because you know how she works. So that's why you were staying in your cold, distant, ego-based. Because you're like, I got control of you. Go, go cry all you want, you know? Like, I get to control how things go in this situation. But, really, did you? Or did they use their tears? Like, you really got to look at the situation. How much did they get away with that you really didn't want them to get away with? And, but you knew that they were getting away with it. So it was okay. It was accepted. But then... How many things did you get away with that you thought you were getting away with, but then when they actually found out, like, yeah, they were pissed, but they let you get away with it again and again and again and again because they really didn't give a fuck? Right? Stuck? Stuck with that? Stuck with, like, the fuck? I just, I keep getting, what the fuck? <laughs> I think I'm... I don't even know. I it's I love it. I just I love it. Like thank you. I love it. Wheel of Fortune. A change. I freaking love ending readings right here. Because this is exactly what everyone should do all the time. Work towards changing. Every situation you cannot grow if you do not change. Do not get too stuck in one stagnant energy. It's not healthy. Stop playing the victim in a situation. You're choosing to be there. You like the control. You have to realize you like the control. And you need to let go of that. You got to release that. Then then you really need to focus on being very clear and logical and honest because the King of Swords is very honest. That's what I mean about transparency. Like, these are my steps. And then, then you say what you need to say because they say, they talk. It's communication. They're air signs. And then there's action. Fire signs. Go for it. Do it. You know what it is you want. You know exactly how you're going to get it. Go for it. Right? I love it. Yeah. Change. End one cycle of being stuck in a cycle, I'm guessing, with someone that is just really cruel. That doesn't care. That uses their emotions to manipulate you. So watch for that. Oh, watch for that. That could be dangerous because they will make you feel like your lo their love is in your hands. That's that's never. No. No. You should add to their cup. They should have their love, all their love. You add to it. 
And then they add to yours, and it goes back and forth. It's a team thing. It's not a, you have to make me happy. No, I don't. No, I don't. That's your job. Do it. Ah, oh, this energy was here last year. I remember that, too. It's back. Makes sense. We've got full moon energy right now. I think that's why I'm getting all these, like, I love it, though. I thought it was done. Maybe this one's definitely done. It's backstabbing. Something might feel extremely backstabbing when you find it out. It might be communication. Almost like stabbed in the heart. But not only the heart, but the back. The pockets. The legs. The arms. The things needed. Like, you're taking the last of my strength. <gasps> I think someone ran right into a heartbreak. Fast. Happened fast. Part of the backstabbing. I think that's relevant. I think they're related. Maybe made someone single. Or at least really understand their value. There might be two women. One's extremely fiery and sexy, and the other one is sexy but bitchy. Kind of tells you what to do and how to get there. Chariot. Going somewhere. Taking a trip. I love it. Yes. Do it. Oh, maybe to a lover. Maybe to go choose something. Choose. So. Something that was disappointing. They're choosing to go after that. They're disappointed about something and they think they're going to go after what they're disappointed about. Like, you know, when you're like, fuck, I think that was a missed opportunity. And then you're like, you know what? Why the fuck can I still go get it? No reason I can't. You know, what's the worst I'm going to get? Is it a fucking no? I can't do this. I can't don't go there. I can't be there. I can't, you know, whatever it is. Take it as it resonates. But it's making that choice and just going and being like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Might as well. So I get told no. Oh, well, then I know it wasn't for me, right? Love it. Okay. But then I wanted to do it that way. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to... Okay. All right, so fear, addictions, maybe sex. I don't know. There's some kind of negative energy that is really at the root of all of this. Like maybe anxiety or fear. I'm going to say fear and anxiety. And why do I say that? Okay. I'm going to show you this. When I first saw it, it was like this. And I was just like, oh my God, someone's in their head about a, not having a change and being like super unemotional and m emotionally manipulative in the masculine form. But then when it first came out, I was like, wait, no, that's not how it came out. It came out like this. And this is no longer being in your head and having anxiety and fear or being a victim and making a change to be emotionally strong and balanced and fair, you know, like that's beautiful. But there's fear. There's anxiety. But it's getting out of that. So what's okay, what? 
what should they do? Move to calmer waters. So calm the boat. You have control of the boat. You have the oars in your hand. What way do you want to go? You want to go forward? You want to go backwards? You want to go to the left? You want to go to the right? What's your direction? Make a choice on where, how to calm a situation. Ooh. And that's standing in your power in your emotional power that could be you could go be going towards an empress or an empress could be doing this like amazing energy this is like strong feminine i got this shit kind of feminine energy you know yes so that's what i have for you anyways this was the kmart tender peace love and light